Hello and welcome to this review. Today we are looking at the FriendlyWare PC Arcade DOS booter disk from uh, 1983. Now FriendlyWare also made a uh, introductory set that uh, I have actually played and uh, therefore the FriendlyWare PC Arcade was, was the name was familiar to me however once once I got to playing it uh, everything was unfamiliar uh, sort of so anyways this is available from my and let's get rid of the browser and start DOSBox for the friendly way so welcome to friendly way the PC arcade so this is uh, an arcade uh, it's well it's a, it's a bunch of games you like like any okay so do we have a color monitor yes we do and do your screen show color yes it does so a through J is our games and then K gives you instructions so let's let's go do K and then instructions for A. So I'm not going to read through all of that. You only have two buttons, left and right. And some instructions on how to play this. So all of these games are ASCII re-implementations of games that are in arcades at the time. So we shall be one player. There we go. Now, I have played this a bit before the review. And this. So, I have gotten used to it a little bit. This game does take getting a bit of, little bit of getting used to. I've tried playing it with a joystick. And the joystick gives you proportional control so you can move fast or slow. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I am playing with the keyboard at, at the time. You can probably hear, hear that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So this ball goes in any direction. Hey. Last ball, last ball, ball number five. And for some reason, that sucker just moved on its own. All right, so would you like to play again? Uh, no. So let's try B, Eagle Lander. Let's press K for instructions and B. <coughs> so B, or the Eagle Lander, I've played a little bit as well. And without this instructions, you are lost. So, uh, you've got to press a direction and the power. So the throttle keys are 1 to 6 on your keyboard. So 1 for the least amount of power, 6 for the maximum amount of power. And then you can either go left, right, left, up and right, or up and right, you know. So, let's see if we can land the sucker. 
Okay, so we'll do a little bit of a burning. Oh shit. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's just get a bit of a Just destroyed a hundred and hundred and forty seven million dollar lunar lander. Good thing you don't work for NASA. Would you like to play again? Uh, no, we have, have reviewed lunar lander things before. Uh, let's go for instructions to send and C for bug blaster. So you got a full range of moments and The plus key will give it piece of speed. Spacebar is your trigger. Okay, strike any key to continue. One player, and this is a copy of Centipede. Just as we know, it's actually uh, not too bad for uh, the ASCII version of Centipede. What's interesting about this version is that they go up and down, which is sort of interesting. Yes, okay, so there on the on the left hand side there's some some uh, how many players are left. Let's see if we can clear this level. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much the same as the centipede with worse graphics and sound. But gameplay, surprisingly okay for... Uh, yeah, okay. Gameplay is surprisingly okay for a ASCII game. Normally, the basic games uh, sort of struggle. Right, I'm gonna exit this one. Yes, I wish to leave this game. So that was Bug Blaster. Now we shall get instructions for Gorilla Gorilla. And yes, you have four things to move. Jumping is acquired art, okay. So space bar to jump and one player and we'll take game number one. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So when I have this thing, I cannot climb. Sort of sucks. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. 
So obviously, a copy of King Kong, or Donkey Kong, sorry. Oh, I went fast, my masher. Okay, let's play carefully now. <laughs> yeah, that little uh, uh, halo about the character. That's kind of a kind of a nice touch. It's a, it's amazing what you can do with ASCII graphics. And uh, now I'm not going to play again. So K for instructions, and we'll do E for Starfighter. So you can go. Whoa! This is sort of a rotated keypad. Four is up and six is down. Forward up, forward down, forward, stop. Interesting. I wonder why they did that. So yeah. Uh, so the keyboard control of the V. Okay, so that's gonna take some getting used to. And I suppose spacebar is fire. Let's go. One. Player. And <laughs> yeah, it's definitely is. is fire. Okay. And the ammo doesn't regenerate. Ah, oh, shit, I shot my ammo. Scroller action there. I guess it's value for money. But it does take some getting used to. Controls are just weird, man, and they're super weird. And <laughs> okay, that, that was me trying to stop. Uh, play again. Nope. Starfighter. So let's go K and F. We can only go left and right, and we can shoot as many bombers before they hit your five by three times. Right, spacebar is your trigger, and let's go. One player. So, what is this a clone of? is a little bit like that uh, sea wolf sea wolf game that uh, we had eh, not too bad not too bad gameplay is okay sound I mean come on if you can hear the sound uh, what I'll do I'll just put the various uh, games I'll put chapters in the video so that we could skip between the between the videos, but yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now getting a little bit more aggressive now. Yeah, okay. okay. Ooh, and there we go. Not too shabby. Back to the menu. ASCII man. K okay, for. ASCII man. So we've got our four movements. It is worth mentioning that the uh, uh, directional keys have been mapped properly. So uh, let's. So the, the the directional keys work as well. That's just kind of nice. So Pac-Man. 
Uh, that's actually not too bad. A lot of the Pac-Man clones he struggled controlling the character. This one is actually pretty good. It's worth mentioning that I had to step down the speed quite a bit to get this game to go properly. Ah. But uh, it is controllable. Uh, I guess that's part of it. Yeah. Okay. The sound, something else. Okay. That's a clone of Batman. It's actually not too bad. Like I say, controls are pretty good, easy to control, you don't get stuck on walls. There's no warning when they turn, they just don't blinky at all, they just go for it. <laughs> okay, Pac-Man. Right, exit. So, Hopper. C-E-K and Hopper. Hopper says full range of motion on the keypad. And you can move right, save, hop. Mm -hmm. Hey, one player. Okay. Yeah, this is quite definitely a clone of the old classic Frogger. And uh, my hopping skills are still relevant. Oh. What is that? Oh dear, yeah, let's not hop off the... Ah, okay. As always, don't be hasty. Yeah, I haven't, haven't reviewed any Frogger clone, but uh, I suppose that comes later. Yeah, so Frogger, Frogger was an arcade game quite popular during the era. And, uh, now, I don't know if you've never seen a Frogger before. These things at the bottom here, that are supposed to be cars and trucks. And then we have toads and logs down at the bottom. So, Get across the highway, and then some of the some of the uh, things disappear. So let's hop and hop and hop and then hop. Okay. So. Let's see. Dun 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 dun. Okay, what is... Mm. Don't know what that is. Okay, so put it up in there, up in there. Get that one. And now... Hey. 
Okay, so not much to it, unfortunately. That was Hopper. Let's try Robot War. Let's use K and I for Robot War. Full range of motion plus angle shots. You may be moving, then press the space bar. There are two ways to shoot. You may hold down the space bar, press the direction key, or you may be moving and then press the space bar. I see one player and Not a bad animation. I'm I'm quite impressed by how well they managed to 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 do this. Oh, right. So let's move up. Uh, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Piloting my robot mech. <laughs> They're walking. And then I says, man, this is this is actually not bad. Asking wise. Okay. Man. <laughs> okay. Survive that one barely. Right, move along, moving along swiftly. So yeah, um, two, two player games. That's not bad at all. And uh, I guess the two player game function gives you gives you the ability to to play with some friends i mean this is this is in the old days where there was no internet so you'd get a friend over and you with two players i suppose you'd have to share the keyboard and then play against each other on the screen so yeah that's fun now pc der derby we can do instructions and j and there are no game controls for pc derby so it's a spectator sport, which is very strange. Yeah, so you're watching a horse race, so heh heh. Just as at the track side, you picks your horse and you bet your money. So I suppose if you have some friends across, you could bet on a horse. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, seven. And they are running. Yeah. Could be fun, I guess. Could be fun. I wonder who's going to be. My money's on three. This is going to be three. Uh oh, oh, uh oh. Number one is coming up. <laughs> ah, the tension is killing me. That's nah, definitely going to be three. Horse number three wins the wall. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That was all the little arcade games in the friendly way PC arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. 